Hi, and welcome to this B1UP Tips and Tricks session. Today I have a teaser for you about how to post an SAP event to Microsoft Teams. So many of you might have started using Microsoft Teams, which is an excellent tool in order to communicate. And we also have the tool to actually take B1 up and post directly to Teams for you. I have separate e-learnings and I will show in the end how to get to those. But for now, let's just see a teaser of how, it, how easy it is to do. So here I have my Microsoft Teams and I have a team here called Experiments. And in order to do anything about this, I need to go in and click on this. I need to be an owner of the team and say channels. And here I need to go in and say, I want to create an incoming webhook. Configure one of those. Come on teams. I want to call it sub notifier. I can put an image on it. I don't want to waste the time right now, but we could put an SAP image and I create a webhook, which is this long URL. Let me show it here to you. It is very, very long, but we need it in a bit. And then we say done and close this down. So now there's a new SAP notifier that is connected. And then we go to SAP and we go, in my case, I will just use a button. So I will use this my button to write hello world into Teams. And it's not an internal message, it is what is called an HTTP trigger. An HTTP trigger needs to have a URL, and that's the long URL we had here. Let's take that, put it in. Subject, hello world, and a message, hi, Teams, this is a message from SAP. We save this universal function and we press the button. And when we press the button, it says, hello world. Hi Teams, this is a message from SAP. And now comes the tricky part, of course, for you to choose when should this happen. Is it that doing an uh, add of a document? Is it part of a line loop? Uh, whatever you need to do when it is. Again, this is just a test. And what should be written here? Because you can write SQL colon here. Let's go to the right place. Like this and write some SQL that builds up the screen. You can write HTML tables and so on. We can always press here. And let me get this from the other screen where we can write HTML table, bullet list, numbered list, and so on. And we can use the dynamic syntax. So if we wanted to have, let's write MaxiTech. So we can write this was done from, and then the name of this person, which is the line saying text of seven. Like this, press the button. See in Teams that it now said this was done from MaxiTech. So you can imagine you can do a lot with this feature. Printer Leary also have this feature. If we have a look into the report actions, Printer Leary report actions. One of the report actions can be creating a, a trigger with exactly the same fields uh, as you have here. I'm showing it for Teams, but it can also do it to Slack, similar manner. So let's have a look how to actually go about doing all this. So 
So let me go to YouTube by MIT and search for HTTP trigger. If we do that, you can see there is a end-to-end -end guide exactly how to do this, which is longer than what this video is. Uh, so again, go to this video. I will link it in the descriptions as well. And uh, that way you can get it everything up and running. Uh, so with that, this was again just a teaser, but given the fact that so many people use Teams now, this is a really, really cool tool to actually send some data out on schedules using Brenda Leary or on direct events uh, happening inside Business One. So with that, thank you for attending and I hope it was beneficial.